And hey there, how are you? Good morning, it's Monday morning uh, here. I am documenting the end of week six of my journey through weight loss, which is technically happening, uh, through a keto diet. So if you've been following along, six weeks ago I made the decision to switch uh, to uh, a keto diet about Four weeks ago or so, I increased my exercise level, including uh, almost every single day on a stationary bike. And then three weeks ago, included some uh, basic hand weights and lifting, uh, nothing too crazy, uh, into that routine as well. So I am here to report that this week, I lost another two pounds. And I am supposed to be happy. And I, I okay. Again, I've lost weight. Yes, right. I'm, I'm still making progress. I'm still getting there. But is this is a maddeningly frustrating pace. Um, I really am happy about where I am. I've lost 17 pounds since I started this six weeks ago. I am being told by family and coworkers that I look different. Um, I definitely feel different in a lot of ways. I have more energy, I'm sleeping better, um, I'm not snoring as much, My, I'm not mouth breathing as much when I, when I sleep. My mouth is not dry and disgusting in the morning. You're welcome. Um, I can get up from places easier without as much grunting. Um, I'm just, I feel more limber and more spry. Uh, one of my sons yesterday commented that my arms look different, apparently, from the woo -woo, uh, weightlifting. They're six pound each dumbbells. It's nothing big. Um, I'm getting there. This is going to take a long time. The goal is 215 pounds. It's a long way off. I'm at 6 so I have now lost about two pounds every single week for the last several weeks. I keep itching for like a five pound week and it's not happening yet. I don't know if it will happen. Um, so I, I will go ahead and be happy with the two pounds once again uh, that I've gotten out of this. Uh, nothing's changed and as far as my fitness pal this is still my guide this is my Bible this is my roadmap this is how I know what I'm doing and and paying attention <clears throat> my son Sebastian is still my coach uh, we talk regularly he checks in daily on my macros 80% uh, fat which I know if you're new to keto sounds very counterintuitive 80% of my day is fat 15% protein 5% carbs I will say that I have started to see, oh, wow, sorry, I uh, have started to see less than 5% carbs on a daily basis. I'm coming in somewhere around 3%, 4%, um, sometimes 5 I think one day it was at 6%, but, um, you know, when the way my fitness pal breaks down the nutrition is kind of nice. Uh, it, it shows you how many grams of each thing according to the, the calorie goal uh, and, and what you've actually documented that you uh, ate. So, you know, my day allows for exactly 25 grams of carbohydrates a day. Um, and uh, again, I'm coming in somewhere usually uh, 21, 22, 23. Um, sometimes it's right on the nose, 25. I'm happy with that. Supposed to be getting like 180 grams of fat. Let me just double check that. Yeah, 178 a day of fat. And I've been doing really good with that. I'm coming in 171, 165, 171, 181, right? So it's all over the map. The protein supposed to have 75 I, I can't help it man I'm a carnivore I, I eat meat I eat a lot of meat it's hard for me to balance in the need for that extra fat on top of what I really want to eat which is more meat so supposed to be getting 75 grams of protein a day you know if I go back a week uh, if I go back to last Monday 
instead of 75, I was getting, okay, low here, 61, 75 on the nose, 103. That was a, that was a big meter eater day. That was like a paleo day. Uh, 82, 67 came in low from the 75. Uh, over the weekend, again, 93 grams of protein as opposed to the 75 and 88 yesterday. So it's not exactly perfect, but I'm coming in really close to the 80-15-5 every single day. Last week I talked about being unsure what changes I was going to make from week 5 to week 6. So here's what I actually did. Um, I lowered the calorie count again. Um, I really thought that lowering the calorie intake was going to be something that would boost me uh, up over the five pound, you know, the five pound range. Um, it didn't. I, I brought the calories down to 2,000 a day, so I uh, intentionally shaved 200 calories off of my allowance for the day. I thought that would make a difference. Um, all it did was make more of a challenge, uh, and and it was really like, how in the world am I supposed to do this? Uh, with just the basics that I'm eating now, which meant I had to slim down my salad for lunch and I had to pay really close attention to what I'm eating for dinner. Um, and, it, and it just it looked like it wasn't going to be able to be done. So a conversation that had come up a few times over a few weeks uh, was intermittent fasting. Now, I tried intermittent fasting last year and uh, saw very marginal success, like five pounds and almost to 10, but then it, it wasn't sustainable. Um, for whatever reason, I, I just couldn't keep it mentally going. Intermittent fasting for me meant skipping breakfast altogether, almost skipping lunch and not eating lunch until about one or two o'clock in the afternoon. And uh, with the intermittent fasting, you get this window of time uh, for me, this time around, I decided to do it. Skip breakfast, almost you know, eat a late lunch, and only allow uh, calorie intake between 1 p.m. and 9 p.m. at night. That's it. Now from 9 o'clock at night all the way to 1 o'clock in the afternoon the next day, nothing other than water, coffee. Um, the cheat is uh, continue to put the coconut oil in the coffee so that I can keep the uh, fat level up. But not as much coconut oil to keep the calories down. So there you go. That's what I've been doing with food. Uh, that's what I've been doing with exercise. Um, but I'll tell you a couple things. My clothes fit differently now. This this was not so loose uh, last year at this time. Um, my pants are kind of looser, right? I noticed I had to cinch the belt a little tighter this week. Um... I wear a specific black shirt every Saturday night for a live broadcast that I do on uh, YouTube. Um, six months ago, a few months ago, um, I was just about busting out of the buttons on that shirt. I mean, it was really a joke, quite frankly. And this is a shirt that I wore comfortably 10 years ago, uh, right about that time that I was uh, really doing well with weight loss. So, um, contented kind of tell the difference every week. Every week that I put on that shirt, put on that costume for the live show, it's just a little looser, it's just a little looser, it's just a little looser. And there's always that bottom button right on my belly button that, that was always like, okay, that thing is barely buttoned and it's probably not gonna stay. Uh, frankly, unless I suck in my gut for the whole show. It's really early the word, by the way, sorry for the yawning. Um, but this week was like a banner moment. Like I put that shirt on and I, I tugged the shirt away from my stomach and there was like two inches of space uh, between the shirt and my, and my gut. And that was like, that was a hoorah moment, right? Like if I'm going to sit here and be miserable about the fact that I didn't lose five pounds, um, I am going to take joy and, and pleasure in the fact that... Um, it's noticeably different that people are commenting someone I stood up at my desk at work the other day and someone looked at me and was like whoa you lost weight sir you know my family's noticing it um, physically like I've got this body image um, in mind that I want to be at and I see it to start to happen I'm seeing it I don't feel like this melon is as round as it used to be uh, that, that some of this is coming down so that's it. Uh, that's my update for week six. We now move on into week seven, and we see what the week holds for us. 
I have no particular plans uh, to do anything different. Nothing has occurred to me that I want to do different, so I'm just going to stay the course, keep doing what I'm doing, and hope that we have something better than just two pounds next week. But thank you for sharing time with me uh, and listening to me talk about this journey. If you're going through your own weight loss journey, um, I hope that something I've said here in the course of these videos is useful to you. Uh, I welcome your feedback, your comments, um, your advice, uh, anything that you could offer. Um, I'm all ears. So thank you again uh, for your time and watching this, and I will see you next Monday.